Right, I'm, I'm not able to film much at the moment today because someone's jigger picking the cavities again. No, it's a cross road, they're doing some work. So he's got a fucking pneumatic jigger pick out. But, welcome to another video, everyone. Uh, it is now Wednesday, it's fucking hot. We worked like dogs yesterday. Um, fuck me. So, I'll show you what we're doing today. Sure. Come on, See that, see that, Mangy? Mutual respect. Save me off with a can of pop. Right. Right, check it out. Fucking, uh, what we're doing today. Obviously, if you watched last video, you know what we were going to do. But a few things have changed. It's hot. That's what changed. It's hotter than we thought. So I'll show you what we're doing. So, round this eye at Joyce, there's trays. I'm not going to show you trays because, well, I'll show you my cleaned them. There's trays down there. I didn't do any of this bottom brick work. But, take it over this. So, first of all, you see them straps. They need nailing. That's another big reason why you do brick work first. If it's getting inspected at joist, they always need nailing, your joists always need flushing. What we tend to do is we tend to kill two birds with one stone and we'll now flush these, there's no joist at this side, but joists that run that side, we'll flush them with a bit of gobble, we'll slap it on, boom, with trowel as we go, so we're not sending beam round doing something that it's like an apprentice's job. We'll bang a nail in that, that's nailed, but they always want to see it nailed, but first of all, foremost, there's trays, so doing this for YouTube, I've, I'm in the position now, I can take a bit more time on my videos I'm not having to pay fucking £600 a month of childcare you know, I can, I can spend a fucking odd day a month in time fucking about so right here, can you see here we've got a big long tray there's window and a patio door, what I'd have done different to this is I'd have separated these trays and basically, sorry about background noise, I'm going to get a mic. I'll have separated them trays so there is a gap for drop-ins to go through and drop onto, obviously, as as bot in between as doorway and as window, we can clean that with thermobate out or maybe just it's easier. There's less tray for it to drop in. So now, as well, we're going to have to take blocks out of here. And we're going to do that now with a circular saw. Circular saw. It's accepted really that you can use one without much dust protection by the dust bag and it's not going to create too much dust. If you bother, get a dust mask on like me. I've got one on as you can't see, but on safety goggles. I always wear shades anyway, so they do the same job for dust, not projectiles. And we're going to do that on all these trays, cut them out, and then I've got a block saw that I can easily take the bed joints out with. But I'll check, I'll check in with you in a little bit. Uh, it's now 10 o'clock, we're on Wednesday as you know, and we're gonna now, Dean's on with loading bricks, I'm gonna bump in and help him after I've got this up, so the goal is today, because we're having a steady and just turn 10, I'm gonna get this up in about an hour and a half, and then I'm gonna take these blocks out, and by 1 o'clock we should have that up, and Dean being well on with this, we've got a tub of gear, we've got bricks, on a double pair like this, I would have liked a bigger loading bay to get more gear on. But, it's what it is. We can always pull that tub on. You know, sometimes on a pair they might have two loading bays. One at the back, they might even have one at front. But, it depends on your access, depends on the scaffold firm, depends on the price you tender. You know, but anyway, we'll see. Um, you know, it's a, big, it's a big pair this. This is probably one of the biggest... I live in one of these, so... As a Gleason house, I live in that one. I think that one's called the Fer uh, Fergus. I think. I think it's called the Fergus. I can't remember what fucking house it was called, but the different. I think this is a Tyrone, and this was a, a Fergus. I might be getting that wrong, it doesn't sound right that. But yeah, this is the same house type I live in. I live in a Gleason house. Um, which obviously makes me care more. Obviously, I'm, I'm 
I'm building houses that, I, that I, can, I can afford to buy. And a lot of you guys are built, a lot of first time buyers can afford to buy these, like, so. Which, you know, people, you know, people on, people on YouTube don't talk about the reason what recession proof houses like back in the recession keep out was still built was still building a few other firms were still building because people needed houses and i don't think we'll ever have a recession like we used to but this is something that you know you got to think about when you if you if your careers like mine just building houses obviously i'm doing a bit of fucking vlogging a bit of personality on youtube but it's building houses and you've got to think about that because it's your livelihood but you know Turning up every day, getting work done's lively and so. Stop banging on now and get some work done as Dean will leave. Anyway, hey, <laughs> see you next uh, see you next clip. Right. God, I can't see out these fucking glasses. Full of dust. So I sorted these blocks out. It took me about half an hour. Me and Dean sat down for about an hour and had a chat. It's my birthday tomorrow, so I'm taking it steady. Can't always be going out for leather, it's just not possible. You know, you don't see Moderation is the key, you know what I mean? You work hard one day, have an extra hour, snap the other. No, have a rest, have an extra snap, go for two. How we, only have, we normally have one hour snap, but in this heat we're having an extra snap, effectively. Even if that's having half an hour cal on scaffold, whatever, we're just chilling out. There's always a time and place to go am, and in when it's fucking 30 odd degree. So we're fucking, uh, I'll show you what I've done. This is about a 20 minute job if you rush in. I took half an hour because I was doing it steady. Um, yeah, check it out. This is this will save you tons of time on a superstructure inspection. And you know, you don't can't leave out to chance these days. You know, the NHBC man, it's all, it's a guy, NHBC guidelines is guidelines. So, it's down to the, you know, the discretion of the NHBC man. So you might have someone who's a stickler got to get it right and these and you buy you see a bit of dust in trays one and cleaning and this will allow you to get them spotless basically i know there's i know there's gangs out there who make the cavities gleaming we do they will probably spend take more time over the work than i do uh, when it comes to cavities and stuff that only spiders will see but they probably don't they probably don't earn much money you know you see these with people making the cavities gleaming they're not earning out and i'm here to earn fucking money What's of it? So check it out. Right, so we've took these blocks out. I've done this simul similar before, but I took an extra bit of time making sure they're nice and loose. So they're all easily, nicely, you know, be able to pack them back up, gobble them back in at the time. Now we've got a 600 entrance each block to get our gob, you know, every six to clean these trays all the way down. Dunzo. Uh, I'll show you how I do them as well. Do a little walk through, it's a bit loud today on the site, a lot of, lot of activity. So we use a circular saw both sides, perps and top bed. This can be done with the drill, if you have an SDS drill like we'll have soon, it'll be a lot easier. Set up both sides, tap it out with a brick hammer, uh, brick hammer, the joints out. No, you know, it's crumbly gobble this, ready mix. Not the best, but we're on silo soon, so, you know. It's probably easier actually playing blocks with ready mix for this pure fact. The tech box out easier, can, the gobble doesn't go off, but has a lot of downsides, and you know, silo is superior in my eyes anyway. So, yeah, trusted you all. So, we've got box down all the way out. So, when we come to clean this out, super instruction, super structure, it's easy to easy. Right, I'm gonna get some work done. So, everyone, it's 12 o'clock. Me and Dean have been uh, just having a bit of discussion how we're gonna go forward uh, with loading gobbo. So this is some guys at work don't sit sit around and think. You know, this is why I'm on YouTube. I'm coming up with new ideas, and uh, you know, it's maybe it's maybe crap, but we're having a go. You know, if we, no one's doing this in UK at the moment. No one's doing what we're doing. There's a few guys doing it, but we have took a bit of a hybrid approach. So check it out. Oh, so we've got the 600 i bins. You guys know about them. I've had loads of private messages about them. Uh, about 13 quid or 12.50 if you buy them in bulk per bin. We've got a standard gable here, you know, uh, you know, 30 or 40 bricks long or whatever. We're we'll set up for turbo walk. So first of all, how many shovels full of gobbo you can you fit in there? That's about six, six and a half shovels full, depending on the size of your shovel. Um, 
and that takes about to set all that up takes about 10 minutes we haven't got access because I was meant to leave that down but because of because we're lacking gear and because I want to just get stuff done we decided to do it like this you know it's gonna be a bit harder because I ain't left access but I just thought fuck it you know we're gonna get my plan is is to get the back and that gable sort of done first this next all cleaned off then Dean well I'm getting over this fuck about front bit uh, which has got an half in some other stuff I've got to rebond it and, and sort it out over these soldiers here at front I'm gonna sort it out end of the day I'll sort it out it's gonna look mint but Dean's now loading the front out first, that's his main goal, loading the front out, so this can be forgot about, and we're only carrying Gobbo potentially around. Um, this is a bit of a YouTube day for me, you know, I, I have the luxury sometimes, of, because I'm quick, I can have a day tossing it off, basically. So we've got 12 o'clock now, 12, 12, 10, 10 past 12, we're going to go for snap at half one, this is another example in, you know, what weather. This is, you know, the old guys who taught me as an apprentice called me a fucking idiot. They said, oh, you're stupid, this, is and that. You know, I've got weird ideas, I know, I get it, I get it. But I am weird. But I'm getting loads done. Also. Um, but yeah, like, we, we got here about nine o'clock. Well, half eight, not, half eight is a regular time, nine o'clock. We had a bit of a, tossed it off for a bit. And I took them bots out, as you can see. Uh, wet trays were. And now we're going to be building this, you know. I could have known we'd done that in half an hour and I've already built this. But we're having a bit of a chilled out session. We've been coming up with this idea. So now, because we can load out six shovels of gobbo in each tub, that is that is basically, um, effectively, three buckets of gobbo. So, well, two, bucket, two shovels full is basically a bucket. And normally a, a good a normal board holds about a bucket and a half. Maybe two if you're piling it up, but it goes off quick as fuck. So we can now load out another basically you can load out another fifty percent more gobbo. So you load another two buckets of gobbo out on each board, aka a bucket. You're loading out three buckets worth into a tub. So that's six shovels well you're actually loading three and a half buckets worth into one of these tubs if you pile them up that's about six shovels that's six and a half maybe seven so you you're looking at 50 to 70 percent more gobbo per spot board stand and everyone so that is now 70 percent less time your laborer's got to go get your gobbo so in dean's case because he's an improver now he's probably reaching improver status because he's getting towards laying up line consistently I don't ever have to check any of his work bear in mind um, here he is now my brother-in-law so we're at the point now where it's, he has to get 70% less trips because the gobbo is getting filled up quicker we use another gorilla tub to fill these if the handles are intact and we can find one that keeps its strength we fill that at the tub and lift that straight onto the bin so we're cutting out a lot of work by finding a good gorilla tub that's the best one we've found so far but we can't find what it is they do snap you can see the handles snap once the handles fucking snap on them like this one they're fucking basically useless for maneuvering another thing with gorilla tubs as well this is what i'm trying to get through to the viewers you can fucking move your spot board around easy when that's got half a tub of gobbo when that's half used and it's down to here move it over here when you're running out of gobbo so much different application so 70 percent more time your improver, IED Dean, can be laying. So that's 70% more output. You know, it's, just think about it, guys. There's fucking so much application for tubs. Me and Andy from Britley and Worldwide, well, he left a comment, but, we, you know, it is, you know, he, I've, I consider him a mate, he's sound. Uh, I enjoy his videos. He basically was chatting to some blokes and saying that he thinks this, this method's going to take off. With one of these trowels, I've laid 1200 bricks a day with this and I'll lay more, you mark my words. 250 turbos with that yesterday and I mark my words, I'll lay more. Dean's thinking, you fucking salesman. But, I got that, I got that. I'm off to, I'm off to remove that now. I'm off to remove that. 
I'll have to remove that now. And now I'm going to boss you about. And next week when we go golf, God. I'm going to ask you why you're not in on Monday. I mean, you're going to tell me, I fucking hate you, mate. You bossed me around all the time. And then I'm going to I'm going to square up with you. The only reason you're good to golf is to put them out on the club. <laughs> I swear, I swear to God, I'm going to square up to you, mate. Right? I'm going to say, what? I'm going to knock your bock off. And you, being hammered, is going to like square up to me, and I'm going to bottle it and run off. <laughs> oh fuck me! Right, we're gonna get this up, and don't view you get the message. It's fucking it's so, so much better using tubs, and you can leave that there. That gobbo now will can stay in them tubs for fucking I don't know. Well, when we left them yesterday, three and a half hour. About three hour they left. They were in them tubs because we went for snap after we loaded them and yeah. stuff, and they're still 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 mint. Most you have to do after three hour. Sprinkle a bit of water in. Two seconds, it's good as new again. So yeah, me fat me. My hands hurting. It's quarter past. It's, I've been on here five minutes, so I've got to get off. Right, in the bizzles. Right, let's lay some fucking blocks. I'm proper demotivated. It's half one now. Fucking done. Basically, naff all. But some days you just gotta be uh, turn up, do your dear time. Have a, you know, I've been waiting for for Rick. I think it's been a busy day today. Um, so you know, I can't always have it all, mate. You can't always be smashing it every day. You're gonna have a fucking steady. And make people don't wanna, you know. Anyway, let's get the app backwards. That means we're serious. Glasses on. Bit, bit of dust on. Fuck it, let's go.
Oh, <laughs> oh,
uh, quarter to three. We've not had a bad day. We've got his bricks finally. We've got we've had three packs of bricks today. Got two on loading bay waiting. Dean's been fucking. We've been calling a bit as well, but Dean's been fuming. He couldn't get his bricks loaded quick enough. So we've worked through eat it day, and we've got about hundred turbos in. I just short of hundred, I reckon. I don't quite count my rack backs, but if I count my rack backs, it'd be 100. Um, but yeah, check it out. But I'll show you a little sneak preview and why tubs are so good. So this video is probably going to have tubs in the title, but this gobbo's got loaded out at 11 o'clock. So three and a half hours later, three, three and a half slash four hours later, beautiful. It's ready mix, bear in mind, but anyone knows who uses ready mix, you put it on a board, half an hour it's dead. You know, you know, fucking priceless, mate. That's what we got up. We got that up in since one o'clock, I think. Fucking two hours, basically. Hundred turbos here. That's two hundred twenty-eight quid for anyone who knows. And we had a bit of. I had to drill more tires. About five tires. I had to drilling down there again. So that's another hour a day work there. Fucking look. You know what I mean? When you're taking other people's work, you know, fucking in it, it's fucking your day up. Well, you can see the production we've had. You know, yesterday we did all this. Even with a couple hours of fucking about, and today we've just done this because we've been, you know, just been, you know, delayed with one thing or another. Right, I'm gonna point this for it goes fucking super white, and uh, yeah, I'll check you in a bit. We're, we're, it's quarter, uh, you know, quarter three, so we're gonna join this up now, and then we're gonna fucking go for some snap for half an hour, 40 minutes, and then load them out and fuck off. I think that is us today, mate. You cannot kill your sin. You cannot overproduce in the heat wave. It's only for another couple of weeks, three or more weeks, and then we'll be back to as normal smashing it. But I've, I've said I'd have this up in about six more days. So I reckon I've given myself six and a half days to get this up. Because I'm not working Saturday, so it gives me tomorrow, Friday, and then up till like Thursday, Friday time next week. Do we think we can do it? Six or seven days, maybe? Yeah, I think I'll piss it, to be honest, but we'll see. Right. See in the, uh, see in the next uh, clip. So, it is five, oh, ten past six. Just, uh, just before. Show you quickly what we've set up now. It's another, been another late one, but we had an extra few snaps, had a few breaks. We weren't grafting today, but... We've got about 100 uh, turbos. I'll show you anyway, I'll show you what we've done. This is, before I show you, this is like the future setup of Connie Bricks. And um, what I'm doing here, not many people are doing, not, but there is going to be a generation of ours that's built our concrete bricks because of the energy crisis. So yeah, check it out. What we got up today, from that rack back there, we, oh I did that corner yesterday. We got all the way around here, big rack back. Uh, I think windows on four on this one. Four blocks are above floor. But yeah, we're about 100 turbos here if you count your racks. Just, I give it a rough count. I only count on Friday, I don't count through the week. I just get a rough count. So 100 turbos, about 228 quid there. And then there's been about a couple hours, been another hour fucking with, fucking about changing all the tyres down there that we're all missing. A couple hours cutting these. So I've set them all out here to cut it morning. So that's made us up, you know. I don't know, standard day work now for a labourer and a bricklayer. Uh, but I charge about 30 quid an hour, uh, standard day work, so, you know, we've got, you know, 90 quid out there, so that's about 310 quid we as day works, fucking about, um, but not many people can do it, how we get over a three quarter here, because this is a, this is going to be a show house, I think, we take away the eye from the three quarter, we put a three 190s in and then we'll back off bonds and you'll never know from the eye straight away that that is obviously 190s but when someone fucks the house up you know you've got to get over it and we're going to do the same over here so you're only cutting 190s up until wind right so there's wind rights up four above so we've got one two three four four threes of twelve we've got twelve course times three that's three twelve course times three that's thirty six um, you know, 36 one nights we're going to cut there, so that won't take us too long. It'll be an hour only cutting them, so about 300 quid we've earned today. Uh, obviously, Dean's in a bit of a time, so that's takes me like 40 odd quid, 50 quid. Um, so, you know, you know, I've not really earned much 
probably for the hours I've actually been working, I've probably earned that day with wage today, but I'll show you the setup also. So, this is, this is something else, anyway guys, I've never done this before, it's going to be the first time with this setup, obviously you've seen the aluminium, seen the aluminium clamp set up, you know, um, top clamp, obviously one F clamp at the bottom, we've got now we're using Dory Box, all oil profiles are 3-in-1 oil, this is the future guys, you know, there's, this is the best option we have at the moment. This is the best option, you know, other than bikes, but I don't like bikes. This is the best aluminium setup we've got at the moment. So, we've got an aluminium down there. Aluminium there. And aluminium down there. We've got a block set as a dummy block to get us up about eh, six or seven course, up as expansion, putting us uh, as vertical, as lateral ties. And we're gonna put them every 300 here. Because obviously that we've got, we only need them really every six, but we're going to overkill it and put them every three, every three hundred. So instead of every four, we'll put them every three hundred on this one, just overkill it a little bit. Um, also uh, down here, I'll show you oiled up, oiled up dories, all set. Bins, bins, and bins and tubs. We've got a five tub set up here. This can hold basically six seven seven shovels full in each tub and that should get us most of this corner up that's the fucking pros of tubs mate it's just produ production at the arse so much so much more efficient with tubs uh, so that's it up to his expansion same here but we've got a bigger run here we've got about a 30 brick run down there we're going to rack it where we get to us as loading bay because um, we want access into pot to pass gear in i should have left that down but i didn't we're now going to put down, we're now obviously, we're same again, dory block, but we've already got the lines on, so you're not fucking about rolling the lines out, all the dories are set, so we've got the lines under this one, so this one can go up first, that one can, that side can go up first, and then once that side's done, <clears throat> quickly whip that line off, wrap it up, bang it in a block, and then this one's already to go straight up. Um, there's a few bricks here that I think join are knocked off, but we'll get over that, we'll sort that out. That's note. Uh, obviously, there's blocks are out over his trays for cleaning. It's the best setup I've had yet for a band lift. It's the biggest ba band lift pair I've been given for, you know, the biggest I've been on, I think, since our one on one. A true one on one, should I say. Uh, but yeah, so we're on ready mix, we've got a quarter of a tub there, a third of a tub we can use, you know, we've got his gate open ready for his bricks and his gobbo tomorrow, because Dean's going to load the rest of these stacks up, and he's going to basically, because that's only a small room with some cuts, I'm going to probably build that one so well, while he loads the rest of this out, down to this front, and then I'm going to fold, and then I'm going to, once this corner's up, he's going to drop off, get up trial with me, and we're going to blast in up to that expansion, same again, you know, same rules apply, Blast down this fucking this long back. Obviously, that's just still like there. I think uh, I can't remember what the brick height is. Anyway, there's then there's soldiers fucking blasting away. You know, what a job. Scaffold's a bit ropey, but I think they're fixing that. Uh, but yeah, so right, Dean's waiting for his in van, and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get off. It's fucking well. It's fucking quarter past six. Right, see you guys tomorrow.